Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing out a bunch of new makeup. I have a literal box of makeup sitting right next to me. A lot of new products that I've been dying to try for the first time. Some new products that I've already tried and already have some thoughts on, which I'll be sharing with you guys today. I would love if you guys could let me know in the comments if you've tried any of the products that I'll be using today. And if you have, what are your thoughts? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Let me know, as per usual, you know the drill. Okay, so let's jump right into it, <laughs> shall we? Okay, so we are gonna start off first with the eyes, I think, which is unusual. Normally I like to start off with the face, but I'm dying to put this on my eyeballs. It is the new Gucci Long Lasting Coal Liner in the shade Celeste, and it is an absolutely beautiful, powder blue color and I have been dying to put this on my eye ever since I unboxed it. Um, it seems to be like a really nice creamy gel eyeliner and when I swatched these on my hand and I tried to take them off, it took a lot of scrubbing to get these off. So it seems like they're also pretty long wearing too, which is really nice to know. So I think for the look today, I'm going to do as always a pretty wearable look, but we're gonna do it with a nice pop of color. So I'm gonna take the eyeliner and I'm just gonna start to draw out Nice little wing with this guy. The texture of the eyeliner is a little bit on the waxy side, so I find when I'm applying it, it's kind of skipping a little bit. It's still applying smoothly and it's actually pretty opaque and smooth in pigment, but there is that little bit of like waxy texture to it, which I'm assuming is what kind of helps it really grab onto the skin and last for a long time. So that is good, but also not great in some instances as well, because it makes it just a little bit more tricky to actually apply, but I'm not really having any crazy major issues. Just trying to give you guys the full experience, but it is really pigmented, especially for such a light and powdery color like this. It is kind of hard to find eyeliners that will really give you that pop. Um, and yeah, this is definitely doing the trick. So here's what the eyeliner looks like. I love the color, it's so pretty. It didn't take me very long to apply either, so. It's good, I mean, but it is also Gucci. Obviously these eyeliners are expensive. Are they worth it? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't think this is the most extraordinary formula I've ever tried ever, but I mean, the color is really pretty. At least it is a unique shade. If I was just showing you like a simple brown or black eyeliner, I would say no, it's not worth it. But if you have specifically been looking for this type of shade that gives you that like payoff, this is really pretty. And let me know in the comments if you guys know of any other eyeliners that give you this type of payoff. That's this kind of like powdery blue color that is a less expensive alternative. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I do have another eyeshadow palette here that I kind of wanted to dip my fingers into. Uh, this is the new NARS Euphoria face palette. And it's a really pretty palette. You have a lot of shimmery shades in here. These three shades on the bottom look like highlighting shades. And then all the shades in the center as well as this guy are metallics and just really intensely sparkly shades. And you have a couple mattes in here as well. So I'm gonna swatch a couple of these just to kind of see what they're like and to give you guys an idea. Here's three of them swatched. They look pretty. Swatches though can only tell you so much. You always gotta put it actually like on your face to get a good idea of how they're going to apply. So I'm down to try out one of these on the eye, although I'm not really sure what I wanna do now that I have blue eyeliner on. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it really simple and just put maybe a little bit of this super glowy shade right on the inner corner of my eye. I know, I know, not the most exciting thing to do, but I did already commit to this blue eyeliner. Okay, so I'm first gonna just grab that highlighting shade right here. Looks so pretty. And I'm gonna put it on the inner corner of the eye to make it nice and sparkly. I'm not just doing like a subtle pop of highlight here. Like I want the inner corner to actually be kind of glittery and it looks like that's exactly what the shadow is giving me. It looks really pretty. I normally like to do this after concealer, so I'm kind of regretting putting it on already, but it's fine. So I feel like the eyes are pretty much done. I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is the Dior Iconic Overcurl Waterproof Mascara. I'm a really big fan of the original Overcurl. It's actually one of my favorite mascaras. It gives a whole lot of volume and kind of gives you a false lash effect, at least it does on my lashes. So I'm interested to see if there's any difference in the waterproof version because sometimes waterproof mascaras could be different than the non-waterproof version of it. So. I'm hoping that it's gonna give me the same really nice effect because a good waterproof mascara is always nice to have. Okay guys, I definitely don't feel like that's applying the same as the original Overcurl at all. I actually find that made my lashes look so 
terrible. <laughs> they look really, really clumpy and just not great. That is not how the original overcurl looks my lashes at all. So that is actually pretty disappointing. I, I told you there's always a difference between the waterproof version and the non-waterproof version. So keep that in mind and don't think that just because it's the same name that it's going to perform in the exact same way, but just as a waterproof formula, because that's not always the case. Uh, case in point right over here. Plus I got mascara all over my eyelid, but what else is new? Literally always happens to me. Um, so I'll have to wait till that dries, then I'm gonna go over it with the eyeliner and try and take it off as best as I can. Okay, let's move on now to foundation, or rather I should say skin tint, because I am going to be using the brand new MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Radiant Sheer Foundation. This portion of the video is actually in partnership with MAC. Um, I'm so excited to be partnering up with them specifically for this product because I have been such a huge fan of the MAC Face and Body Foundation for, for pretty much almost as long as I've loved makeup. So we're going on a relationship of maybe like 10 years at this point. And it's just always been one of my go-to fail-proof foundations that I know is always gonna look amazing on my skin, especially when I want something that is a little bit more on the natural looking side because what's beautiful about MAC Face and Body, if you're not familiar with it, is that it's a very, very sheer skin tint, but it is buildable. So you are actually able to get some coverage with it, but it's always going to look like skin on the face. Like there's very few foundations out there that give me this much of like a skin like effect. I find that it works really well in all skin types. When I was a working makeup artist years and years ago, I used MAC Face and Body in my kit because I knew that it worked great on dry skin, oily skin, combo skin, normal skin. It worked great for everybody and everybody always really loved how just natural looking it looked. So I'm so excited that they came out with a brand new formula. This is the Radiance formula. So this is supposed to give a little bit more of a glow compared to the original MAC Face and Body, which I would say has more of like a skin-like finish. Um, it's not super glowy, it's not super matte, it just literally looks like skin. So for my shade, I am going to go in with N3. This is a really nice neutral shade. I do have more of like a neutral undertone to my skin, not too yellow, not too pink. So you could apply face and body however you like. I personally prefer to use it with either my fingers or a brush, more, more so though my brush. I don't really love face and body with a sponge because I find since it's such a watery texture, the sponge actually absorbs quite a bit of it. So I just don't find it's the most efficient way to apply this type of foundation. If you do wanna use a tool, a brush really is the way to go. I'm gonna be using my MAC 170 today. It's just a really nice, small, dense buffer brush. And I'm just gonna start by building this up in the center of my face. Matches me literally perfectly because that's where I like most of my coverage. And then as soon as I get that coverage there, I kind of feather it out towards the perimeter of my face. So this foundation is really perfect if you're looking for something to give you more of a no makeup makeup look and a little bit of a glow. And don't forget, this is a face and body foundation, literally. So you can put this on your body as well. If you have any areas like on your neck, on your chest that you feel like you wanna even out, you can use it there. And because it is a face and body foundation, this is a transfer proof formula. So once it sets down, it shouldn't really go anywhere. All right, so there you have it. This is what the foundation looks like on the skin. So you could definitely still see, you know, some of my natural skin texture through, but that's kind of the point. I'm not looking to completely blank out my face, but a lot of my redness is gone. And you can see that my skin is really nice and glowing. I'm actually not even wearing a moisturizer right now. I just realized I did not prep my skin with a moisturizer or really any anything. Um, I put on my moisturizer hours ago and typically I do like to put some something on my face before applying my makeup. So all of that glow is from that foundation. So I guess it's a good way to show you guys the way a foundation performs by not applying anything underneath. And again, that little extra boost of radiance that this guy has is perfect. So now it's time to move on to concealer. And for my concealer today, I'm gonna to be using the e.l.f. Um, hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Light Peach. This isn't really totally new in my life anymore because I've been using it for a couple weeks now, but it is a newer product in my rotation and I did actually recently mention it in my last vlog, but I wanted to mention it again because it's just so beautiful and I find that this is actually a very, very similar product to this concealer that I actually have right in front of me. The Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This guy is kind of 
same, same, but different. I feel like they have such a similar consistency and a very, very similar um, coverage. It just kind of airbrushes your under eye while still giving you a natural finish and also really, really great coverage. It's such a beautiful concealer and I can't believe I only discovered this recently. I feel like I, sh I should have had this in my life a long time ago. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this underneath the eye and I'm gonna highlight also just in those key points right there. And just gonna use the same foundation brush just to buff it out. Okay guys, I'm literally drawing over the mascara that got all over my lid and this eyeliner is drawing over this black mascara with no issue. So that's, that's pretty impressive. So I have two new brow products here, both from Charlotte Tilbury. I've got the Brow Lift as well as the Brow Cheat. So the Brow Cheat is a smaller, more micro size pencil and then the Brow Lift is one of those like triangular pencils. I actually personally prefer more of the micro pencils, so I'm gonna go with that guy today. This is the medium brown shade. So it is a spoolie on one side. Ooh, it's a good color. Matches my brows perfectly. Ooh, I actually really like that the tip of this pencil is kind of like a, a triangle. So I'm able to put it on its side and it actually makes really nice, precise lines with it. <laughs> so I'm able to kind of tilt the pencil and get really, really um, sharp lines. And then I could tilt it again and put it on its side and get uh, thicker strokes to fill in bigger areas like the front of my brow. This also has a waxier consistency to it. So what that tells me is that it's really going to stick to my brows, which is what I want when it comes to a pencil. So I like that as well. Okay. And I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix Clear Brow Gel. We'll see how this is. Haven't used this guy yet. It's a clear brow gel. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It doesn't feel heavy on the brows. It didn't, it didn't make my brows feel rock hard. Obviously a little bit underwhelmed, but that's okay. Let's move on to bronzer. I have a new shade here of the Tower 28 Bronzino Cream Bronzer in the shade West Coast. So this is not necessarily a new product, but it is a new shade in the Bronzino collection. They came out with three different shades. West Coast matches me best, so I'm gonna be using that today. So this is obviously a cream bronzer and it has a really nice sheen to it. This is very sheeny, so if you don't like a glow with your bronzer, you won't like this, but if you love a glow with your bronzer, you would probably really love this. With this particular bronzer, I actually apply it in a very specific way. So I'm gonna take this Duo Fiber Brush from Sigma. It's the Contour Blush F53 Air. And I'm gonna pick it up directly from the compact and apply it really kind of only on the cheekbone area because it is so glowy. I don't prefer to have this all over my face because then it kind of just overdoes the glow. So if I am gonna be wearing this, then I do really, really like it just on the cheekbone area. And I bring it up a little bit just a little bit on the temples, but I don't like bring it all across my forehead because I just feel like then it's it's too glowy. So it's just one of those products where I have a purpose for it and I, and I keep it at that. But as a nice little glowy bronzer, it's pretty, pretty. <laughs> so let's talk about the NARS Air Matte Blushes because I'm so confused about this, okay? I did speak about this in my vlog recently, but I wanna talk about it again because I'm just still so confused by it. I read such bad reviews on this product on Sephora. And a lot of people were DMing me saying that they had like heard people say that this wasn't like a great blush. And I'm, I'm very confused as to why, because I've been using this quite a bit. I've had zero issues with this blush. I don't know why people don't like it. Um, I actually think it's quite a beautiful formula and very, very unique, especially for a, a cream blush. Okay, I wouldn't say it's very, very unique, but it is a little bit more different than a typical cream blush that is that is typically more on the emollient wet side. This is a matte cream blush, which I feel like you don't really see that often. And so because this is more of a soft matte finish, um, I actually find that it lasts really beautifully on the cheek. It's not too sheer. It's also not like crazy pigmented where you'll get clown cheeks like that because that's never good, but it's also sheer enough that it kind of gives you a nice flush. I don't know, I just really like it. The worst part about this blush is the size of it. I feel like you don't get a lot of product and it is 
pricier because it is from NARS. And I also just don't like the size of this little jar because I can't really put my finger in it to tap it on my cheeks because my nails get in the way. So that is really my only downside when it comes to this blush. Um, the color Rush also is so beautiful. Um, I will say that I'm not the biggest fan of orgasm in this formula. I, I just don't like the, the shimmer in it. I just feel like it looks a little bit chunky, not my favorite. I think I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for the bronzer. I'm just gonna kind of get in there and just tap it on the cheeks and you see how much pigment I have there? And then I just kind of do a couple more taps and it blends out like nothing. It's so nice, guys. <laughs> and this color, like I said, I'm obsessed with. It's just a perfect sunburnt coral shade. One of my favorite shades to wear in the summertime. And it really just livens up the face and actually complements this blue really nicely. And I like putting it across my nose to get a nice little sunburnt color. Just gorgeous, really. For the lips, I really wanna try one of these KKW lipsticks in the shade Classic Kim. This was part of their nude collection. I never had a chance to try this out. And I haven't really had much experience with the KKW lip formula. I've tried a couple of their products and I really do like their lip liners, but I don't have a lot of experience with their lipsticks. So I'm really excited to try out this nude because it's a really pretty, very, very, very neutral nude. So we'll see how that looks. And then I also have another product here from NARS that I'm dying to try out um, because it sounds delicious. It is the Afterglow Lip Shine. So I'm assuming this is going to give my lips a lot of shine, which I'm very down for. Give it to me, I'm ready. Ooh, I don't think I've tried this formula before. I think this is new. We have a coral here, plum, which we're not gonna use. Ooh, this looks like a nude. Ooh, this is like a softer coral, which looks interesting. Ooh, an iridescent, that looks so pretty. I feel like it's probably gonna be between these two, which is uh, Broken Glass and Deep Realm. Okay, so I'm first going to line my lips with one of the new Gucci lip liners. This is the lip liner in Nude. Okay, um, just quick thoughts on this lip liner. I love the color of it. It is such a perfect neutral lip color, but but it's so perfumed when I'm lining my lips with this lip liner. I can literally taste the perfume and I really don't like that. And it's also just a wooden pencil lip liner, which I'm not totally against. There's a lot of wooden pencil lip liners that I really like, but I don't find the formula to be extra creamy at all. Like I find it to be a little bit dry actually. So that's a little bit disappointing especially for a Gucci product, but the color honestly is really pretty. Okay, let's try this classic Kim lipstick, see how it looks. This is supposed to be matte also. Oh yeah, that is a, that is a nude color. <laughs> I actually, I'm not sure if I really love this lip color or if I really hate it. Let me know what you guys think. It's such a neutral lip color that this would literally go with anything that I had going on in my face, which I do like. But um, the formula is a little bit, it's not drying, but the matte texture is really accentuating a lot of the texture on my lips. It's not like a super cushiony or plush matte texture, which I do prefer when it comes to a matte lipstick, but at the same time, it's also not drying. Um, it kind of lands in the middle. I kind of really like this color actually. I think I'm actually gonna layer the clear iridescent gloss on top because I really wanna keep this neutral nude moment that we have going on in the lips. So again, this is the NARS Broken Glass, uh, what are you called again? Afterglow Lip Shine. So let's see how glossy we can make this nude lip look. Oh, there's gold in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is what it needed. <gasps> okay, this just literally brought the lip color to life. Absolutely beautiful. It's an iridescent, but it has almost like a gold shift to it, which just really complements this lip color so perfectly. This is actually a beautiful, 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 beautiful lip combo. After putting on that gloss, this is a perfect nude lip for me. It really is. And I just love the way this looks with the coral cheeks and the powder blue eyeliner. 
I think it's so nice. All right, guys, that is actually it. Those are all of the new products that I have here to put on my face today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me play with some makeup. Let me know all of your thoughts on the look that I created and some of these products if you have used them. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.